joins me now. Senator Reid, thank you so much. So much happening thank you, that's you know, on your plate here with North Korea, with Russia. Let me uh, share with you a tweet from the president about China in the last 24 hours, where he said, I am very disappointed in China. Our foolish past leaders have allowed them to make hundreds of billions of dollars in trade yet they do nothing for us with North Korea. Just talk. We will no longer allow this to continue. China could easily solve this problem. Uh, this is such a slam at President Xi, who was a, an honored guest at Mar-a-Lago back in earlier times. Mm -hmm. It just seems as though he's turning on China. Is that the way to try to get China to help us with North Korea? Well, the president has tried various techniques. One is uh, having his media at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, they seem to have rapport, and then that the Chinese have not moved aggressively on an economic front to cut off uh, support to North Korea. That's the key uh, economic lever that could move them to uh, not abandon, but at least uh, freeze their nuclear program. So I think the president's right to, to call out the Chinese. But the issue that we have to do is come up with a comprehensive strategy, uh, one that would apply and involve sanctions against Chinese companies that are doing business with uh, the North Koreans. We also have to engage all the regional powers. We have to do a consistent strategy. And I think we also have to recognize that one of the fears of the Chinese is that there would be a collapse of the North Korean government, which would cause perhaps millions of North Koreans to flee into China. So we have to in some way reassure them that uh, we would be able, or the international community better, would be able to assist with that type of humanitarian crisis. So there's a whole scheme of actions that the president should take, but also I think he should be much more methodical in terms of naming a strategy, perhaps even naming an individual envoy that would go to be his personal representative on a constant daily basis, and then uh, signal to the Chinese and to the American people and the world that he himself is personally involved on a constant basis rather than sort of firing off uh, messages randomly, it seems. I wanted to share with you something that the Joint Chiefs Chairman, General Dunford, said to me in Aspen a week ago about the possibility of a military option. As I've told my counterparts, both friend and foe, uh, it is not unimaginable to have military op op options to uh, respond to North Korean uh, nuclear capability. What's unimaginable to me is allowing a capability that will allow a nuclear weapon to land in Denver, Colorado. That's unimaginable to me. And General Byron McCaffrey, one of our colleagues and contributors, said uh, today mm -hmm. that he would not rule out the possibility of a first strike against North Korea if it appeared that they were ready to launch. Well, the North Korean uh, nuclear program is an existential threat to the United States. There's no way to get around that. The question is, how do you deal with it? I think you have to begin exerting every type of diplomatic pressure, including sanctions against companies that do business with them. You have to continue to try to engage the Chinese. You have to engage the whole world community. Uh, one of the, the realities here, and, and General Dunford and General McCaffrey are, can, will tell you this, is that any conflict on the peninsula will not be a sh short duration, a quick strike. It will involve literally hundreds of thousands of casualties. It will be a long, drawn-out fight. We have to take the steps now that would minimize that possibility, but as both General Dunford and others have said, we cannot unilaterally take that option off the table. But that's why it's so important now with the time we have to try to use every type of diplomatic, economic, uh, geopolitical means to s stop the, uh, this program and then to begin to push it back. And on the other front, Russia. What do we do now that Vladimir Putin is expelling or threatening to expel as of September 1st so many, hundreds and hundreds of our people out of Russia? Well, first, I think we, we protest much more vehemently than we seem to be doing. Uh, the State Department uh, apparently is putting out a statement that they're evaluating it. We have to remind not only the Russians but the world community that our sanctions are based on several uh, actions that the Russians took, not the United States. 
They invaded the Crimea. They are uh, supporting an insurgency in the Donbass in the in the Ukraine. They interfered with our election. They have interfered with other free elections. We cannot tolerate that behavior. That's what prompted President Obama to impose these sanctions, uh, to give equivalence to the Russians and say, well, I guess it's, it's okay because we did it. It's not right. I think we have to call them out. We have to keep reminding them uh, that they can help themselves, not just the world community, by abandoning these uh, intrusions in democratic elections, by sitting down seriously, and I'm pleased that the Vice President was in uh, the Baltic talking about the, their threat, but sitting down seriously and carrying out the Minsk Accords. At that point, we can start talking seriously about diplomatic relations and avoiding some of this, uh, uh, these tit-for-tat approaches. And finally, I know uh, your colleague, the chairman of your committee, John McCain, we understand is starting treatment today for this brain cancer. Uh, I know uh, we all want to wish him well as he continues to fight this. Certainly, yes. Senator McCain is one of the great American heroes, and uh, he is left and will continue to leave an indelible mark on the Senate. I fully expect. Uh, Senator McCain to come back so we can do the national defense bill together. Uh, he's just irrepressible. Uh, he's unique. He's one of a kind. Uh, he represents probably one of the greatest senators who have ever served in that body. So uh, we're all not only rooting for him to come back, but confident he will. Jack Reed, thank you so very much, Senator. Thanks for being with us today. And thank coming you. up next.